Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today's topic is I will discuss about few custom visuals which could help you in, in a different ways to represent something and it will help, it will always help to uh, design your dashboard in such a way that which the normal whatever the visualizations we have uh, in the Power BI area, right, that will be not sufficient enough so that you can import some custom visual okay so the first one which i was talking about is very interesting let's see the first we need to check we need to go to one website called uh, synoptic.design hmm? i will put this link on the, on the on the on the description box of the video okay so let's you have so many visualization here okay so out of that one editor also there you can draw your image if you are good enough to uh, create your image if you are a good expert on that you can create your image also okay but i will take uh, one gallery here some something like that and what i'll take i just take a human body here okay and click on the edit designer that's it okay that's it you can, if you want to do some coloring and all just do it otherwise take it as a simple okay now finally you can export to your power bi okay right and you can just right click on this and and save save image edge okay save image edge okay and you can put it here uh, in this in this case it is will be put it at the sbg uh, in the type of sbg document okay and you can just put it i already downloaded that so we'll see how to use that okay so now we'll see how to use this human body for a good content now first of all let me introduce to a uh, table first we need to get some data for that so i will create a enter data here mm -hmm. okay so the we can say body parts okay so body parts i can say uh, body the part name okay and i can say one value called the value okay so i'm taking three examples here we can do anything there okay so i'm saying brain okay whatever the values we have brain i have in this case then lungs and heart these are the three values i will take it okay lungs say heart G -R -T. Okay. what is the value would be you can take some value from here this is already a pixel values are applying so out of this value anything you can say so i am taking the first one which is brain is 196 okay 196 what is the values of the long lungs here just me check lungs would be around 165 lungs is 165 and let's take the heart heart is around 228 okay 228 now load this table so this is just a custom table i am just creating here okay now the body parts correct created now we need to import one visualization from this one only synoptic you just search for the synoptic putting the power bi Click on the three dots, get more visuals, okay, and search for synoptic, okay, you will get it, synoptic, this one, the first one, the synoptic panel by Oquiz, just click on that, okay, now add, what is done, now click on that, Right. and take the one column from here hmm? so let's take part name and your value okay you are taking two well two columns here one is the sum of value and one is the part name which is which you clear now click on the uh, and just import the svg file which you are downloaded from this right after this exporting power bi we just save it in a species document right 
that you need to select it here. So I'm selecting this is my uh, the file which I downloaded. Just click on the human body. So automatically this will come up inside this. Okay, you can resize it a little bit, and you can go to the formatting of this. Okay, select it. And data colors. Suppose I saying that. On the unmatched color right I don't want to see anything if it is unmatched give me the gray colors okay and the default color also give me it is like a this guy okay and uh, let's take let's de default color like a little bit blue okay so now it is highlighting few things okay now uh, let me Take a slicer now. Okay, take a slicer here and take the part name here, which is nothing but my brain, heart, and all. Okay, so slicer header, little bit I size I want. Okay, all right. So now if I select the brain right, it will select, it will highlight the brain here. If I select heart, it will highlight the heart. If you select the lungs, it will highlight the lungs. Right. So this is quite interesting brain, heart and your lungs. So this is one of the uh, scenario which is called the custom visual which is from the synoptic design and we can take anything okay. There are more choices okay. You can go by the country and territories. You can, look at, you can just create your map and all. Huh? From here also you can just create your data and based on that you can put it across this one okay. So this is one of the custom visual which could help you. All right. This is called the synoptic design. All right. The second or the which custom visual which I was talking about is that suppose you have a filter, okay, slicer rather. You have on the basis of the customer name, okay. And I have a report here. Let's take an example. Here I have my customer name okay and even some of sales also that's fine this is required not required is fine now what is the problem on this normal slicer is that you can have a you, have, you can have a search option here okay and just Im just remember that the normal slicer in power bi only for the text field the search option will come into picture otherwise it will not come out now here you can say arun Right? I just want to search arrow Then after that I need to select everything then only I can then I can then only I can filter it out right got it so this is the problem we will have in this case I need to select all so let's say in this arrow is 3 sometime it will be multiples right so this is the normal slicer the search options right it will be not helpful here okay so for that I have two options for you so let me remove the normal slicer first of all and let's try to find get more visuals and search for search two visuals okay i'll say two is very important one is this one the normal microsoft Corp corporation one which is nothing but your uh, the normal filter search okay uh, yeah this is the one and second one is this which is nothing but your uh, uh, the text per search and even this one also this is also work out okay so here let's try to check either of this anything you can check just check this out click on the text filter here okay. then add it import is successful now now click on that and just little bit size okay now here i can say i am putting the slicer as customer name here. now here the basic thing is you will get a search option here okay so if you write a a r o n right if you enter it automatically along with that it will be whatever the arrow contents it will it will just filter it out that this is this is one of the options okay now let's see what are the other options we have for the search okay 
search and next option is so if you take this two right the both are same almost same either text to text filter or text search filter but let's try to uh, check this out smart filter by okvich hmm? so click on that and add this is quite interesting this one okay so instead of this search i will take let me remove this and instead of that i will take the smart filter by okvich right and let me just something here let me resize it sorry sorry okay size this yeah so in this filter i want to give my customer name okay now the beauty here is that first of all we'll have a drop down okay and you can scroll down anything here the first option second we can search directly also by rule and you can just put a enter so automatically that also we can have a multiple selection now okay this is quite interesting so either you have a option for the text filter normal and second one is the smart filter by aquis anything you can use it okay and the last one is quite interesting let's take i have a report here okay let's take i'm just creating a measure here first of all let me create that measure which is nothing but my total sales let's say total sales okay which is nothing but my sum of sales sales all right and i'm just putting the dollar here and two all right so now i have a uh, let's take i have a report where i'm just showing my sales for each category okay for each category i'm saying that give me the total sales right this is the report i am showing up okay so let's take 15 and the value is somewhere around 18 okay that's fine now what i need is that just you observe right in in the new channels right so on the below there is a scrolling is going on right with stock data like up and down then the scroll will be like it will the price is this much down up all these things right so that visuals is possible in power bi through a custom okay let me get the gate more visual here search for scroller okay and this the one scroller quite interesting okay add it and take this okay uh, not this sorry i don't want to touch that i want to just create a separate one let me resize little bit on the below so that it will scroll on the below itself okay then resizing little bit here i want to see uh the city wise the total sales okay city wise my total sales okay so just see now the scrolling got started right if this total sales if you move it to the deviation instead of the absolute you will see the magic here see the los angeles the new york city And you can do a formatting that I will show you in a separate video. Otherwise, it will be lengthy. The up and down things. Uh, but right now, if you see this, all things are coming up like the scrolling one. So this is one of the interesting thing you can do in your Power BI. Hmm? The first one, this is the scroller. Then the text search I showed you. You can uh, normally search it. Two options we have, and very interesting one, this one. Okay. Which is nothing but you are called the synoptic panel. So you can see heart, lungs, brain. Okay, so all these things you can use it. 
so this is one of the set of custom visuals there are n number of custom visuals are that i will make other videos for that also but hope you like this whatever i showed you here and you can implement on your real time projects and do subscribe to this channel for more interesting content like this and thank you and have a nice day bye